Hello. My name is Robert Rich, and I'm here today with one of TI's resident haptics experts, Sriharsha Rao. So Sriharsha, tell me, what is haptics and what value does it bring to consumer electronic devices? Haptics is the science of applying touch feedback while interacting with consumer electronic devices. Haptics involves the complex manipulation of an actuation element using defined waveforms to produce a wide range of effects which may be perceived uniquely by the human finger. <laughs> Haptics technology is a compelling value proposition for today's consumer electronic devices by offering improved task performance, increased end user satisfaction, and more realistic user experience. The importance of the user interface as a differentiating feature among mobile devices has never been greater and Haptics provides OEMs with a compelling user interface augmentation. There are a variety of contexts in which Haptics can be leveraged on a mobile handset. It can be used to provide tactile feedback on a touch screen when interacting with various user interface elements such as a virtual keyboard or scrolling list, notifying the user that the input they intended has been registered, or haptics can be used to provide a tactile dimension to a gameplay or watching a video. So in what applications do you see haptics being used? Touchscreens are rapidly growing as a preferred method of user interface for a variety of consumer, industrial, and medical devices due to their ease of use. Haptics adds value to devices that are touchscreen enabled, both resistive and capacitive. Haptics is also crucial for some non-touchscreen enabled devices like Microsoft's Xbox or Sony's PlayStation Portable gaming controllers, mouse pads, and virtual keyboards, to name a few. So how do you implement haptics? A typical haptics ecosystem for a touch enabled device consists of a touchscreen controller, and a processor like OMAP or a microcontroller like the MSP430. The touch location of the user is detected by the touchscreen controller. This touch location is fed back to the processor, which makes the decision of which haptics effect to be played. This haptics effect is then fed to the driver, which interfaces to the actuation element that provides the desired haptics effect. The haptics software can reside either in the processor or the haptics driver. The actuation elements can either be piezo, ceramic based, or inertial motor based. Thanks, Sriharsha. Join us for part two of this series where we'll discuss the differences between piezo actuator and inertial motor based haptics and learn a little bit more about TI's haptic solutions. Thanks for watching. <laughs>